Welcome to Resale Therapy. I'm Kedlick, or Tracy. Uh, I'm going to do things a little different today. I have not done a What's Sold video in months. Um, things got chaotic here once school started, and I just stopped. I just didn't do them anymore. I compiled the pictures, and I kept the information, and I kept track of all the fine details of the math and then I I stopped I just it was too much and I couldn't do it and I focused on what I was able to do and then I kept feeling guilty because I did have one or two subscribers who commented and said they liked that and I don't get a lot of comments um, I don't get I don't have a lot of subscribers although recently hi more of you have showed up I appreciate you so much welcome to my channel um, but yeah I was feeling it, it's been a just a mounting pressure to do this and get it done and I know that I shouldn't do anything if it's if you know if it makes it not fun but I do want to share them with you so we're revamping it a little and um, I'm just going to show the products and what they sold for and if I can remember what I bought it for cool but I think it's going to be more about how cool the product was and any little details I can give because there is a lot it's it's been probably the best going into the fourth quarter and fourth quarter I've had um, I know it's not over but um, yeah, sale wise, it's been the best in in all my years of resale. Which there's been a lot of years. There just hasn't been a lot in those years. Like I have the slowest start ever. Like I've been doing this off and on since my teenage years, probably even younger than that. And that that dates back to <laughs> before the internet, y'all. So. <laughs> But these video, the, the, these items don't, so <laughs> we're not going to go that far back. Um, these are since October, and I just I feel the need to share and do a video. I just have not been in the right place to show my face and do any of that. I know this is not a regular video of mine. I've never done it this way before. Um, and if you don't like it, let me know. That's fine. Um, I am going to keep all your comments in mind and suggestions. I appreciate it. There's been some really good ones lately, and I thank you. But uh, this video is going to be just a glimpse at what I sell and what I get for it, and maybe some bolos along the way. I know there's a couple of you that really like those. Like I said, I don't have a lot of comments, so I hold on to all of them. <laughs> so it's not like... When I say I had a comment, it's not like I picked one out of 50 million and liked it. No, it was probably like just one off a video. The only one off a video. <laughs> but um, they're, they're all important. You're important to me. And anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so let's start. Let's, let's start. And I'm going to be touching my... I'm using my phone. I'm going to be touching my screen. And again, if you don't like this setup, let me know. Um, but for now, this is what I can do. <laughs> so this was back in October. And I'm not going to do a bunch of dates, but that's when this started. I found this cute little Fenton custard uranium satin glass. However, what order it's supposed to be in. And it was decorated for fall. And it was adorable. And it lit under black light. And it was so cute. And I think I got it for like $4. Yeah, it was at a Goodwill, and it was $4, and it was a last-minute purchase, and it was adorable. And he sold for $34, and I was super, super excited. That was probably one of my best finds of the year at the time. I found better since then, but this was a highlight. So this next one is also a Fenton, and... I think I bought this one for $4 as well. And I was very surprised because I'm always looking for vases. I know the uh, crazy lamp lady loves vases. I never find them. 
like the people in my area must snatch them off the shelves because I never find the good ones. You know, <laughs> there are uh, tons of the ones that aren't so great, but to find a good one is a challenge here. This next one I picked up for a few bucks. It's a Joseph Originals Little Miss Sweden. Um, some of the international series girls can go for a lot of money. Sweden is not one of them. She sold for 15 but if you notice on her skirt, she has 20, 20, 20, 20 on it. And it threw me for a loop when I found it. I'm like, 20, 20, what? <laughs> but then I looked her up and it's just supposed to be accents on her dress. Now, if you look at her flowers and her little ascot or bow tie or whatever it is, that's uh, gold paint. And it's very, very pretty, very shiny. And yeah, not bad, 15 bucks. So the next on my slide here are these camping ornaments and bonus lizard. <laughs> the bonus lizard is another ornament. Um, it was a bonus because if you see on the tip of his tail, it is chipped. Um, I hope I didn't make you seasick with that or motion sickness. Now this yellow ornament is a dome tent and that orange shovel is sitting on can you guess? It's a roll of toilet paper. Ah, yes. How apropos for this year. Would you believe this uh, set was posted before Christmas of 2019? Yeah, and it didn't sell last year. But this year, <laughs> it sold in October because people started searching for their Christmas stuff early. And how perfect to have a roll of toilet paper on your Christmas tree. <laughs> and this set sold for $12. And I believe I got them in a bundle bag of ornaments for like 25 cents on a discount day. So, bonus. <laughs> I love looking through bags at the thrift stores because you can always find some great stuff. Oop. So this next item is a book, uh, Paper Airplanes with Dollar Bills, and how to make them fly, another way to throw away your money. <laughs> and it sold for $5, and I do believe this was a book I got from the Goodwill Outlet Bins. If you ever hear me call it the outlet, that's what we call it here. I know a lot of places call it the bins. We think it's fancy to call it the outlet store. <laughs> so this next one, or two, because there were two of them, are these San Francisco Star Wars Days baseball caps. And they were both new with tag. I got them at St. Vincent's. I think they were like a buck something each and they both sold at ten dollars a piece that is a rubber millennium falcon on the front of that cap <laughs> and they both had their tags it was like a sponsored by a water company or something this was a bundle i sold on makari it was two mugs one was this mug from thinkgeek.com inspired by the show Big Bang Theory. And on the mug is a diagram of how to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock. And I used to be able to repeat the rules to it, but <laughs> I won't embarrass myself with trying right now. But this was a really cool mug. And it and this mug, yes, I really do need all this yarn. One, shows how geeky we are because this was mine and the other mug was my husband's. And two, how much we don't use mugs because they were in really good condition for being with us for a while. <laughs> we just like bigger vessels. Regular sized mugs just don't do the trick. And the sale of these two mugs seemed to start a trend as we were tumbling into fall of mug sales. And maybe it's just because some places were getting into cooler weather 
and people were thinking hot chocolate and warm drinks, apple cider, that they got nostalgic. And I sold a handful of mugs in like a week's time. And this was the third one. This is the Third Eye Cat. <laughs> I believe this is by Cluet. Yeah. Is that how you say that? Cluet? Anyway, um, it was a relatively cheap mug. I believe it was a 69 cent mug. And it sold for $10. I just thought it was funny. So the next few items are all sold to the same person. When I came back to eBay, I could not remember how to bundle things. And some of my items had free shipping and some did not. Um, <clears throat> so I wasn't sure how to go about doing that. I have since figured it out. <laughs> but in this bundle, um, we kind of broke it up. So this angel sold for $10 and it was free shipping. And these bracelets were $7 for the two. Um, there's this one with all these little, they didn't jingle. You would think they'd jingle, but they didn't. They were really nice and had magnetic closure. This looks gold tone. It's not. It's the silver tone and they're all connected. This came in a jewelry jar. And then this um, Native American storytelling doll uh trivet or uh wall tile art <laughs> and the tile sold for eight dollars oh and there's a better picture of that bell now the bell came in a baggie because i love my baggies with another angel that sold separately and some other great little trinkets for the tree. There was another angel in here that sold separately for good money as well. So always check your bags. Ah, oh, this spoon rest. I love this spoon rest. I was going to keep this spoon rest if it didn't finally sell. Unfortunately, there was some damage to it. And so it only sold for seven. But this thing was so cute, y'all. Let's, let's start at the top. <laughs> First, you got your kitty. And can't quite tell because of the shine, but it says Cold King on top. And then you got your your vintage inside freezer in the top. And then all the little foods in there and little drawers with names on them. I just thought this was so cute. And if you look on the side there, there's food in the door. But there's some damage. And it is a spoon rest. It really is. And it's so cute. So I was so glad somebody found it and now it has a good home okay y'all this was in a couple of videos <sighs> i pass by this at the thrift store there's a mom and pop i go to there it's featured in a few of my shop along with me's and this was sitting on a shelf for a long time and i finally just went with my gut and got it it is an antenna and I believe it was from the 70s. Um, no power cord needed. Doesn't run on batteries. It's just an antenna. But it's so art modern. That, right? Mid-century modern even. Like it's... I don't know how to explain it. It's great. It, it's just so neat. And we did test it before we sold it. Um, all you had to do was turn on your stereo and then put it next to it to boost the signal. And it worked just like magic. It's like rabbit ears for a TV, but you didn't have to plug it in. You didn't have to attach any wires. You just put it on top and it looked cool. I can totally see this sitting on a shelf at a wet bar in someone's house, you know, just like part of the decor. Like it's just such a throwback feel. I love it. And it sold for 40 bucks and I believe I paid $3.50 for this. So I had another mug just like this by Dean Cruiser Krauser. It's a watercolor and the I had one other one that had irises on the front that took a while to sell and finally sold for eight. 
So I don't know what possessed me to get this one. Maybe just because the other one sold, I figured this one would eventually sell too. Or maybe it was because the mugs seemed to be going crazy and I just felt the need to get more mugs. Or maybe I'm just addicted to buying mugs. Anyone else? Anyone? But this is a sunflower and there's just so many people that love sunflowers because they're bright and cheerful. And in this year we needed cheer, right? So I bought it and it sold almost immediately for 10. So, and it's a heavy duty mug. Like it's got some weight to it. All right, y'all. You know what these are. <laughs> these are some 70s. Tupperware salt and pepper shakers and there is a story behind them Well one you can tell the pepper is stained from Holden pepper. So these were well loved <laughs> Okay, here's the story These were found at the Goodwill bins That's right, but not just one bin <laughs> <laughs> no, one was in one bin and one was in two bins down I saw the one and I was like, oh, I want this, this, I want this. And I went digging and I went there, there was no sign. And I went to the next bin because sometimes they dump and they kind of get flipped into the next bin. So I was like, okay, I'll hold on to it for a bin. And I dug and dug and could not find it. So I finally gave up and I just dropped it. One bin down. I just had to travel one more bin down and there it was. So then I brought them home and I sat on them for a while because I'm like, okay, the pepper's stained. I tried to get it clean. You can see the, the, the seam line there on the salt. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know that these are going to sell. But I had to go with my gut. So eventually, after sitting on them for I don't know how long, I pulled them out and posted them and they sold for $23. I maybe, maybe paid 50 cents for these. I mean, they weigh practically nothing. So I have learned I need to go with my gut. Even though my gut is not always right, sometimes it is spot on. Also at the bins. This, the sack, crocheted raffia hobo bag. I found three the sack bags that day at the bins. I also found uh, two or three bags I have not posted, including a petunia diaper bag. And I know those are big, but I got I got work to do on that one. I got like the Velcro is full of lint and it's just on my to-do pile. Do any of you guys get that? You get the to-do pile from hell and it just, it gets ignored. <laughs> so yeah, I have other bags that need to get posted, but I did post this one and I posted another one that's red, white, and blue, but I'm, you know, there's a lot of turmoil this year. I don't think many people want a patriotic looking bag right now because things are so chaotic, but I'm hoping eventually it'll all calm down because it's a pretty bag. I mean, it really is. And no, I'm not going to get political or take sides. Um, that's not what this channel is for. I'm just saying I think that's why it hasn't sold because it is a really pretty bag. But this one did for $21. All right, y'all. This was... <laughs> This one's crazy, and I'm so glad that it sold on Macari as a bundle for somebody. This is a Joseph Originals Blocked Owl. It's got that fuzzy texture. So very cute, very 70s. And next to it, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. It was in the same bag as this owl. Very, very cute. And I wasn't sure what it was made of. And yet there was a smell coming from the bag that I couldn't place. But I couldn't figure it. I figured it was a thrift store. I don't know. It happens, right? So I go to clean up this owl, this yellow owl. Let me zoom in. 
You see that little scratch on his forehead right there? <laughs> That's from me trying to clean him. Y'all, it's soap. The owl is a piece of soap. <laughs> and in cleaning it, it started to have a smell. <laughs> so I finished cleaning it. I put it in a Ziploc so I wouldn't get a migraine. I disclosed that it was a vintage piece of soap in the ad and the lady bought it with the Joseph original. <laughs> I bought some used petrified soap and successfully sold it. <laughs> I don't even know. This is what that deer looks like under black light. I knew I had a picture of it. So there you go. That's what the, the first item we had looks like under black light. And I think that's a sign that I need to end this video. There are so many more pictures that I want to share and items and stories, but I don't want to bog you down. Now, if you guys don't like this setup, like I said, we will try something else. But it gives me a way to edge in while I'm still not doing well and I don't want to face the camera. So please, I want to hear your thoughts, your comments, and thank you all. I'm almost at 50 followers and I know that doesn't seem like a lot to most people, especially out in this sea of people who have thousands, if not millions of subscribers, but I'm thankful for every single one of you and your comments mean the world to me and even if you give me a thumbs down I know you're watching and I appreciate you thanks for watching until next time bye